problem 41. Using the formula A equals P parenthesis 1 plus R over N parenthesis to the NT. Determine how many years to the nearest hundredth it will take to double your money if you invest $15,000 at 4.5% interest compounded monthly. So S is an error, or S at the end is an error, so don't worry about it. You must be familiar with the formula. So, and we are given some quantities, and uh, there must be an unknown quantity in the problem. So the, the, what, what is that? A known quantity is uh, the time period of the investment. Because the question here is, how many years will it take to double your money? So t is uh, the variable for the unknown quantity, the time period of the investment. And so what quantities are given? So $15,000, that is for p. When $15,000 was invested, so P equals $15,000. And so we want to make, I mean, you want to um, double your money, this money, $15,000, at the end of the investment. So the balance at the end of the uh, investment must be twice $15,000, that is $30,000. Now, what is this for? Four and a half percent, that is uh, the interest rate, so that is 4R. R is four and a half percent. And whenever you use a percent in a formula, you have to convert it to a decimal number. So this is 0 0.045. So and then um, what is left? N, right? N. N is uh, the number of um, times, n is the number of times the interest is compounded every year. So that is given here. The money was invested at 4.5% uh, interest compounded monthly. So the interest is compounded 12 times a year. So n is 12. So we have of uh, the quantity, we have the values for these variables, P, A, R, and N. And um, so, the qu so T is uh, the variable for the unknown quantity. One way to solve this, this I mean, to um, answer this question is, we first solve the equation for T because T is uh, the variable for the unknown quantity and then plug in all the, all the given quantities in the equation. And there is another way to uh, do this problem. That is, for, we first plug in all these given quantities into the formula and then solve the equation for t. And so you can um, use either way, but uh, I will take the first one. So I want to solve this equation, the, I mean the given formula for t. That means I want to write the equation into this form. t equals an expression consisting consisting of um, the other variables. Now, so so to do this to solve this equation, 
into this form, right, to solve the equation for t, we need to take this t down. So how can you do that? We can do that by taking uh, the logarithm. So we take the logarithm of the left side and the right side. Then, then by applying the laws of logarithms, we can write the right side as uh, the sum of these two logarithm expressions. Right? And then now, using another law of logarithms, we can write, we can now take this power down. So nt ln of 1 plus r over n. And then now we have an equation, a linear equation in the variable t. So we just need to solve this linear equation for t. So first, we remove this term ln of t out of the right side. So we subtract ln of p from both sides of the equation. So we get ln a minus ln of p on the left side. And on the right side, we have this ln of p disappears. And we get ln t times ln of 1 plus r over n. Now, uh, we have to, to isolate t, we have to remove these two factors, n and ln of 1 plus r over n. So we divide the equation by n times ln of 1 plus r over n, so that we get only t on the right side. So the left side, we do the same thing to the left side. We divide the left side by the same thing, n times ln of 1 plus r over n. So what is t? t is, so these are all cancelled out. So the right side is t, and the left side is this, ln a minus ln of p over n ln, ln of 1 plus r over n. This is t. Now we plug in all the given quantities into this equation. So then t equals the numerator is ln of a, a is uh, $30,000 minus uh, ln of p, ln of p is $15,000 over n is 12, ln of 1 plus r is 0 0.045 over n, or oh, n is oh, 0 0.045 over n, n is 12. So now we can use a calculator to evaluate this expression. Uh, but one thing we can, there is one thing we can um, make simpler that is the numerator. So the numerator is the same as by using uh, one of the laws of logarithms. Um, the numerator equals ln of 30,000 30, divided by 15,000. Right? Then what is this? 30,000 is twice 15,000. This is, so this is ln of 2. So now t is 
ln of 2 over 12 ln of 1 plus 0 0.045 12 times ln of 1 plus 0 0.045 over 12. Okay, now we can use a calculator to evaluate this expression. I already did it. So let's see what the number is. Uh, here you are. So L of n over 12 times L n of 1 plus 0 0.045 divided by 12. So the answer is 15.4321379. But uh, we are asked you to write the answer to the nearest hundreds here. Right? So we have to round the number up to the nearest hundreds. So we look at uh, the digit in the third place, third decimal place, right? That is two. So we can just discard the number, the digit. So we get t equals t equals fifteen point. What was that? Fifteen point. Four, four, three. Right. You have to have two decimal digits. So this is your answer.